This is part 33 of Blazor tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to bind input select element to an enum in Blazor. Let's understand this with an example. We want to bind this gender enum to input select element. If you recollect from our previous videos in this series, the built-in input select component does not support binding to an integer property. So that's the reason we have built this custom input select component to be able to bind to department ID property which is an integer. The built-in input select component supports binding to an enum out of the box. So we can either use the built-in input select component or our own custom input select component. In either cases, the code is going to be very similar to this. So let's make a copy of this and then change the bits that are required. First, let's change this label text to gender and then this for attribute as well. Next, instead of using our own custom input select component, let's use the built-in input select component. And remember, it is the gender property on the employee object that carries the employee gender. So let's bind this to employee dot gender property. Now, for each option that we have in this gender enum, we want to build a select list option. This gender enum is in employee management dot models namespace. So if we want to use this gender enum only in this file, then we can use the required using declaration at the top of this file. But if we plan to use it in multiple files within our project, then it is better to include the using declaration in this imports dot razor file. Next, we need to loop through the enum member values. For that, on the enum type, we have get values method and to this method, we need to pass the type of our gender enum. So let's use the type of keyword and then specify the name of the enum, gender. And let's also change this loop variable to gender to keep it meaningful. Now, as we're looping through each enum member, we want a select element option. Let's set both the option value and the display text to the local loop variable gender. With all these changes in place, let's run our project and take a look at the browser. We are on the home page. Let's click edit on one of the employees. Mary's gender is female. So on the initial form load, the correct option is selected. And we also see the list of all ENU members as options. Now. If we change the selection to something else, we don't have any exception. So our binding is working as expected. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening.